this, is, uh, this accelerates the rear end. Okay. Okay. So um, once you have this, uh, what is it called? The seesaw motion. Yeah. When you do the seesaw motion, you now try to do as little with your body as possible. So don't move the shoulder. Make sure the shoulder is where it is. As you lift your hand, you could also start to slightly, slightly press forward the off shoulder. Just all of this is to ensure that you're more or less static and that this is something you do with a hand only. So in order to, you want to lift it, if you want to, you want to lift it to here. And you can only do that if you open your grip. Yeah. Okay. So the moment that you strike later, it will be a thumb grip only with the top fingers on the grip and the thumb on the bottom side. Okay? Even, even lifting the pinky a little bit. Yeah. But don't do it over your shoulder, but do it in front of you. Yes. And as you do this motion, you have the uh, heavy end to uh, the front. If possible, see if we can do something like that. Ja, ja, kannst du mal, kannst du mal vielleicht, kannst du mal vielleicht irgendwie den Schild äh, halten, einfach mal nur hochhalten, so wie so ein Dach über deinem Kopf, das hast du auch so am Ende, an beiden Enden halten, ja, ja, genau. Ähm, bisschen höher? So, genau. So, now we just try to actively tap this. And feel how it bounces back but we don't want to we don't want to strike it down we just want to tap it control your shoulder so you, there's way too much body motion yeah remember the uh, fiddle bow the fiddle bow is really important that you go high up let gravity take over and as it tilts yes that's it as it tilts as it tilts you help it by lifting your hand and only lifting the hand don't get any closer don't move the shoulder it's almost think more of a riding whip and lift the hand. That's a bit in here. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Counterintuitive is actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I usually think about this shoulder coming so, forward. Yeah. yeah so, so this uh, remains back. And uh, also, what is also counterintuitive is the very fact that your hand doesn't go to the target. It's because usually we want to get with the hand to the target that uh, absorbs all the energy. So if you do the same thing now, going with the hand to the target it becomes an uncontrolled lame tap. But uh, if you lift it up and do this, at one point you should be able to strike it with some more, not with more force, but with more acceleration. You get the acceleration by going up here and then tilt. So as you become faster, resist the urge to bring the hand closer, but lift it up to your shield side. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, when you hit it, Chris, the moment you hit it, try to kind of point towards it. Not too much, but uh, uh, the, the thumb must not go anywhere. The thumb uh, is in control. So this is the motion which is actually, uh, when I hit it, this clamping of the blade is what is uh, relevant. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes there is this, you get the sense that like it's, it's like a whip, that's it. But it takes about uh, three months minimum, so yeah, that's pretty good already. That's body motion. And re remember to lift, yeah? So the point must not go too early towards the target. So there's a detour before it actually goes forward. So um, sometimes in the videos when Cornelius it almost looks like it goes back, which I think it should not, but it must not go towards the target because then ex all acceleration is just this tiny seesaw. It basically needs that uh, falling motion. Exactly. And uh, because it's uh, rotating, being lifted and gravity pulls and your hand lifts that why it uh, that's why it strikes so and uh, to have maximum 
to have maximum input or impact. And when you train it, always also do slow mo ones where you just try to do everything precise, and then you just, as you get faster, you still remain relaxed. And of course, in the end, it's speed. It's not pause, it's speed. Okay. Okay. Now, instead of just tapping it, you think about uh, the, the point actually cutting. So, it's, so you just let it go. So right now, we were just tapping because I wanted you to get precision. Yeah. And um, now you can just hit it. As if you whack uh, somebody in the face. <laughs> but smile a little bit. Remember, your shoulder remains there and you want the full uh, range of motion. So make a big motion with the weapon, a small motion, and no motion with the body. Oh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you're getting there. I can tell you're getting there. Still too much body. Remember the shoulder remains back. Try one with the other shoulder coming forward as you strike. No, the moment you strike. So when you actually so when you strike, that's when you push this forward. Not the shoulder forward, but locking it. So push the or push the push the body in this direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not the shoulders, only the body, of course, because we never put up push uh, our shoulders forward, yeah. just so that this shoulder remains where it's supposed to remain. It helps a little bit by just putting the arm. Forward. Whatever it helps you, but but it's important that you learn to, because it's for your safety. Yeah, yeah. Because if I do this, I'll yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Okay, you want to do one uh, against uh, me, so I can actually feel it. So this now is a thing. Do it slowly, do it. So, uh, this is not just about doing it precisely, it's not about hitting hard. Your hand is too low as you strike. Still, hand goes a bit too far forward. When I say your hand goes forward, it does this, while it's supposed to cross your body and go to next uh, next to your head, which it just did when you do that, uh, did the shield. Good. Less body. And more of the fiddle bow and higher this. Yeah. When I say more of the fiddle bow, I'm not talking about coming back. I'm talking about the initial motion. So the initial motion is just this. As you, the fiddle bow is going to where gravity takes over. So this is an important motion. And there, you don't need your body for that. You just lift your hand until you, the sword drops. And then comes the strike. Think of a thrust. Uh, think of thrusting up here into the air, and then the point comes in, and as it drops, I help you. Initial motion, and and of course later this initial motion will be relatively short but your initial direction must not be towards the target because there's no acceleration it has to be almost perpendicular which also makes it so hard to counter because it goes this direction strikes from the other and also you don't break your triangle that's it <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't he hit on the... Can you hold that for me? So I go up on this side and I hit on the opposing side. So I go here and then as it tilts, it falls down. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. You got it. Keep your, you're just so talented. Keep your body where it is. Just do it totally bored. Hit him bored. And remember, but remember to be precise. You're bored, but you're not flo uh, 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 sloppy. More of a hand to. Yes, yes, yes. But only the hand, not the body. Yeah. Do this a thousand times. <laughs>